Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode. I really like making these videos for you guys. We look at basically the coolest LEGO creations we happen to see people building throughout the week. I choose my 10 favorite, talk about them, show them off to you guys, and also show you guys all of the fan mock submission builds, LEGO builds, that you guys have been sending us throughout the week. If you want your build to appear in next Sunday's video, check out the description below for uh, the proper email to send your pictures to. And remember all of the builders that I show off and talk about in this episode all of their flickers are linked in the description below I highly recommend you check out uh, some of their other content maybe write a comment basically if you appreciate the stuff that I'm showing you guys it's best to show off your support to the actual people that created these mocks in the first place also we have a web store where we sell Lego custom build creations linked in the description below let's jump into the very first build of the week this is the USS Fontana from Ben Smith. As far as I can tell, I think this is a ship that's somewhat of a creative liberty, but obviously built within the Star Trek universe. And according to the description, this is a saucer design that has been used before for other Star Trek builds. But I agree with the designer when he says that he just liked it a lot and wanted to reuse it to kind of expand the Starfleet. Uh, I think it worked out really well for this ship design here. It's also LED lit from the insides, which is an extra plus. Also, these 10 models don't necessarily go in order from best to worst. I just kind of talk about them in what I think is an interesting order. This is a build from Gary. It is called Safe Travels LTD. As far as I can tell, it is a camper van that doesn't have any extracurricular sort of functions in terms of uh, crazy sci-fi effects or anything like like that but it certainly does look built up and almost military-esque personally I like the color combination with the sand green he takes I think a relatively simple design and just makes it that much more unique and complex especially when it comes to the uh, front canopy cockpit uh, driving area now with the third model up this is something that has been making the rounds uh, I think all of last week this is the 1936 Mercedes-Benz 500k special Roadster by Firas Abu Jabber. I'm kind of torn sometimes when a designer decides to chromify some bricks to really add a special boost to the build, but that is definitely not the case here. I think the design is definitely worthy of adding just a bit of extra oomph and the gold chrome plated pieces along the front, middle, sides, and the rims really does drive home the lavish elegance of what these old roadsters used to be. It's a bit upscaled, of course, from standard minifig scale, and I think probably the size of what the idea's caterum was built at. And personally, I wouldn't mind seeing something like this come out of Lego ideas. That would be something I think extra special. If you guys are keeping track, this is the fourth build up, or number seven if you're counting down. And essentially what I'm showing off here is just an alternate build for something that uh, this designer Pask 67 created uh, in December of last year, which is the Lego Star Wars Trench Run. That's the official title. We've got an X-Wing cutting down the trench of the Death Star, but this time around the builder has decided to completely monochrome it in white. It helps you focus on shapes and details more than the color aspect, obviously, and it can help draw your attention to certain aspects of the build that maybe uh, you didn't see when you were distracted by maybe some of the uh, colorful, flashy highlights from the original build. It's an absolutely excellent model. I'm still impressed with how accurately proportional the X-Wing is at this MIDI scale. And that's it for Star Wars themed builds this week. Just one out of 10 is actually pretty good considering our track record. Number six moving down is the Astronomer's Tower by Sergeant Chipmunk. We have a wonderful little nature uh, fantasy island. It looks like these two small rocks have been connected by a small bridge. There's a small dock and wonderful little build for a boat. Everything's so small and cute but personally I was drawn to this build because we finally got a good design or sort of an interesting use of that twisty brick stacking thing that every single person does but almost never really gets incorporated into a build. It's created the tower part of the astronomer's tower and it totally works for this fun little design. If you guys can think of other really fun Lego models that also use that fun little twisty brick uh, sort of build style in a unique or interesting way, 
please link them in the comment section. I'd like to see more of it. And here is number five, a really interesting micro build. This is called New Bedlam Mining Hub by the builder Scott. I've seen an interesting sort of layout uh, at Bricks by the Bay and also Bricks LA with a kind of planet that has towers and stuff kind of spinning off and shooting in every single direction. This is similar, but a lot more densely packed. And there's also a congruent kind of theme moving in and out and sort of between both of these spherical worlds. You've got a black base with a lot of neon highlights. He has married two small asteroids together and you have these uh, spherical builds conjoined with a bridge in the middle. It's an interesting sci-fi idea. I think it looks great as a Lego concept and it's just one of the more fun micro builds that I happen to see throughout the week. Number four moving down is from a builder that we have shown plenty of times before. He's got some great characters. This is from Joxon. It's called Admiral de Fisania. This bug-eyed character looks to be somewhat renowned, stands with a kind of authoritarian posture, and also looks quite deadly with that sword. If you want to see really expressive, unique, interesting characters made from Lego bricks, I highly recommend you check out more of Joxon's Flicker. And also, check out everybody else's Flicker if I haven't mentioned it yet already for this video. I recognize the trans orange vinyl pieces from a Ninjago set that makes out that shoulder detailing, but I don't know where that white piece came for the top of the head. I'm gonna guess Bionicle, but if you know where that is from, please let me know in the comments below. And now let's get into the top three or the three mocks that are at the end. And I just had to show the extension of speeders or hover cars that have come from goal plays with lego he's got the sea police 2049 as well as the viper 2049 both of these hover cars are from another line of other similarly shaped though absolutely different and unique builds but i really liked the shape of the last ones this holds on to that same theme of uh sleek sloped lines that move along the outer edge and he's also got that clean slope of wheel wells that make up the little hover bits in the back. I just find both of these designs full of elegant little details and I highly recommend you check out the builds that come from this guy because pretty much everything he knocks out is totally on point. Now here is a really really fun one. This might actually be my favorite of the week. It's called Wine Making by Guido Martin Brandis. Not only are the building techniques used in this scene very very high quality, I'll get into some of them a little bit later, but you can actually see the entire lifeline of the making wine in a small small kind of simplified form you can see the sprouts coming along the bottom they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger the second line of vines shows the still pretty green grapes on the lighter bright green bushes then you've got the regular forest green with the right uh, the grapes getting a little bit uh, more ripe in red and then pink probably because there is no purple version of the grapes uh, or at least these cherry pieces used as grapes and then the vines are much darker green you got the guy uh, smushing them up in the back in the old barrel. This is really old style of making grapes. And you can see a fermenting barrel in the back and even a guy with the cart taking some of the smaller uh, barrels of wine to probably some of the restaurants or sellers to sell. So anyways, you got a whole lifeline of how wine is made in kind of the old country and an excellent build for a house. I know if you guys watch this show often enough, I really like that there's always unique ways people like to make rooftops. This is another hay roof roof, you know, with the uh, the golden straw, and it seems to be made of minifigure hands, the undersides of other yellow bricks, and also some teeth, yellow tooth pieces. Anyways, excellent build, and then number one in our lineup for this week, or at least uh, the one that's at the end here, is from Tyler. Tyler Kleitz, I believe. It's called Pit Stop. This is an awesome build for a spaceship, but also this person, just personally, this composition of the ship on a small little plateau with some some uh, what look almost like xenomorphs or symbiote type aliens rushing the ship uh, just looks great. He's got excellent lighting. You can see smoke sort of coming from the outside. He added some blur effects on the aliens that are rushing, which makes it look like they're moving real fast. And it absolutely sets the scene incredibly well when looking at this as a, as a visual picture like we are right now. The build for the ship is awesome. I can't remember the name of that primary giant uh, light bluish gray piece that he's used for the exhausts or for the engines really the thrusters but they're just incorporated so well with the rest of the plate bricks uh, this is a studless build that works so well because there's almost no regular plate or uh, regular tile pieces I should say that's covering the model it really is a series of much larger curved pieces so it's just awesome there's 
so many fun details to notice. I like this one a lot. Check out everybody's Flickr that I have mentioned, and also these are some builds that are still linked in the description below, but I did not have time to talk about. All right, that is it for this video. Check out our fan mock creations of the week. Also, that's linked in the description below if you want to send those pictures to us. Thanks a lot, and here are the fan mocks. Just jumping in, wanted to let you guys know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome, awesome Lego mocks. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that help make these amazing Lego creations, and it's definitely worth checking out if you guys want to take a crack at building some of the more high-quality, detail-intensive Lego builds. That's www.brickvault.toys, and thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time at Brick Vault.